Gaming is getting portable, so that got me thinking, what are some of the best IEMs for gaming? Well, here you go. What makes a good IEM for gaming? It's interesting, really, because the criteria isn't that much different than a full-sized headphone. It has to be comfortable, and it has to sound good, right? People ask all the time what the best headphones for gaming are, but what about IEMs? or in-ear monitors? Where do they fit into the picture? And the answer is the same place headphones do. IEMs in many ways are much more convenient in some ways than a full-size headphone. Smaller, easier to drive, easier to travel with, and the kicker, they can sound just as good, if not better, than your full-size headphones depending on what you're comparing them to, of course. When it comes to portable gaming, there's no comparison. If you can get awesome sound from your IEMs, why would you travel with these when you can just travel with this? We'll start off with the most affordable and likely the most familiar with gamers out there, the wireless earbud. The Sony WF-1000XM5 and the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3 earbuds are great options if you're looking for wireless capability and even some noise cancellation. These are the only wireless options on the list, so automatically they're going to be best for mobile gaming. Steam Deck, laptops, and Mac that can run the proprietary software for further sound control. Bluetooth is not recommended for console gaming from the get-go due to the severe latency issues, so you're better off using cabled or wireless USB dongle headphones specifically for your console. The XM5 and and the momentums are small and they work effortlessly with your phone. Just pop them in and they auto connect, making them great for media consumption and casual gaming on the fly. Sony gets extra points here for their top of class noise canceling and software. The momentums have a bit more clarity and detail, but I would say the Sony XM5 will get you better immersed in the game with the ANC. Both, however, are great options here. Moving up the ladder here, we're getting into all wired IEMs, meaning that they'll work with PC, console, mobile, portable consoles, etc. Everything out there that has a headphone jack, you can plug these IEMs into. Let's talk about a couple of the options we have in this category. Remember, we have more IEMs for consideration in our full guide that we'll link to in the description below. The Sennheiser IE600 IEMs are excellent options if you're looking for detail retrieval. The Sennheiser sound leans to the analytical side of things, which is great from a gaming perspective. You're not missing out on critical elements of the experience, especially if you're in a competitive situation. In our full review of the IEM, we describe the sound as clear, natural, and intimate with a kiss of warmth. There's some lovely sparkle on the top end that provides some excitement to the listening experience, and these are a delight for soundtracks as well. The IE600 is on the small size as far as IEM chassis go, and that's great for people with smaller ears and canals like me. From a gaming perspective, if you lean more to wanting excellent detail in your mix, then we recommend pairing the IE600 with the Bronze Dragon IEM cable. It will provide some additional warmth into an otherwise analytical IEM, adding meat to the sound for gaming and music at a price point more in line with the serious gamer budget. For me, more warmth and a more musical presentation in my gaming sessions adds to better overall immersion. Next, we'll check out the Bravado Mark II IEMs from Empire Ears. The Mark II makes some notable improvements over the original in several ways. The Mark II features a tribrid design, meaning it has three different driver technologies. First, there is an upgraded W9 Plus subwoofer for the lows. This is the upgraded version of Empire Ear's proprietary dynamic driver that packs the punch of a true subwoofer. A balanced armature handles the mids with two electrostatic drivers for the highs and ultra highs. There are many good things to say about the Bravado Mark II. At $799, this IEM sounds every bit as good as as higher priced models in the Empire Ears lineup. Instrument separation is astounding when listening to music, and that translates to gaming as well, giving you an expansive presentation and large open sound. 
The Imaging 2, precision in where the sounds are coming from, is a game changer when you're comparing good headphones or earphones to bad ones. The bass extension is equally impressive, packing a punch in the sound design when you need it most. Making you feel those moments in game goes a long way in your gaming sessions, providing impactful and meaningful moments. Next, we'll take a look at what true flagship level sound quality is like for an IEM. I want to start off with some of our favorite IEMs here, the Rye Penta from Meze Audio. The Pentas are aptly named due to the fact that it's a five driver design, which provides a warmer presentation and amazing soundstage and imaging. The Penta Hybrid Driver consists of four custom balanced armature drivers and one dynamic driver working together to create a surprisingly wide soundstage and incredible fidelity for an in-ear monitor. Like Meze Audio's previous flagship headphone, the Empyrean, the Rye Penta Penta is the big arena show sound compared to the solos. More definition, punch, overall fidelity, and life to your music. Combine that with amazing comfort and fit, and this is one of our favorite universal IEMs. When we talk about gaming and headphones, there is one thing that is key alongside great sound quality, and that is great fit and comfort. The Rye Pentas excel in this too, with a smaller chassis and shaped so ergonomically that it almost fits like a custom. It just fits right in there. No added pressure, great seal, super comfortable. And now I don't have heavy headphones or earbuds falling out all the time to distract me and take away from my gaming sessions. The soundstage in these is going to go a long way to immerse yourself in whatever gaming universe you want. Be sure to check out our full review on these in the description below. The overall fidelity of the Rye Penta is impressive and combined with the ergonomic and anatomically shaped shell, you have the best of both worlds. Great sound and comfort. Finally, we have the Pathfinder, not featured here on the table, but it's a beautiful marriage of both Estelle and Kern and Campfire Audio's design philosophies. Estelle and Kern's aesthetic is based on the principle of light and shadow, which gives their products an industrial futuristic look. Campfire Audio, meanwhile, likes to incorporate aspects of nature into their designs. The IEM is a hybrid design that uses two dynamic drivers and three balanced armature drivers. Two of the most striking sound aspects of the Pathfinder Finder are the depth and the punch of the bass and the clarity. The bass is definitely beefy, but it doesn't overpower. The sound is rich with some mid-range warmth, but also crisp, clear, and peppy. The Pathfinder strikes a nice balance in those regards. The way IEM manufacturers design their drivers, in this case for different frequency spectrums, goes a long way to enhancing the expressiveness of a monitor. In terms of gaming, this helps your environments come alive, giving you a presentation that you're actually there in the game experiencing the sound firsthand. The Pathfinder excels at this, providing a balanced and impactful experience in both gaming and music listening time and time again. Your gear is only as good as its weakest link, and in most cases it's the stock cables. Companies just don't put the R&D into their cables like they do for the device. That being said, for every piece of gear on this list, we have recommendations for cable pairings. You've probably seen them pop up during this video, be it silver, black, or bronze Dragon IEM cables. They will provide more clarity, detail, and overall tighter presentation, and more. Our cables aim to bring out more of what you love in your music and audio gear. If you love your headphones but wish they had a bit more top-end sparkle, we can do that for you. We say time and time again that materials matter and our cables and custom geometries, silver or copper conductors, can actually help to bring out those desired properties in your gear and music. With the reintroduction of the new Silver and Bronze Dragon MMCX cables, we have you covered on taking the sound of your IEMs that I just talked about up a couple levels in terms of performance. For you diehards that need to hear every possible footstep of the opposing player, they go with the Silver Dragon. For those of you that want more powerful explosions and a fuller bodied presentation, Take a look at the Bronze Dragon for the MMCX connection. We make tons of custom options for our customers so that you can get the right cable for your exact needs. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we'll be more than happy to help. Here's the kicker. All these IEMs are awesome for music listening too. And that's the big thing when considering what headphones or earphones are best for gaming. 
Base it off of how you listen to music. If you want to feel your gaming sessions and get blown away by blockbuster cutscenes, then sometimes a bassier IEM can provide that excitement and experience. It's thrilling and goes a long way towards immersing yourself into your games. If you're wanting to hear every single detail, knowing where your sounds are coming from to give you an edge in competitive matches, then choosing a more analytical IEM is certainly the right choice. It depends on how you game and what you want to get out of your gaming experiences. And these IEMs can take you to the next level. Again, these are just some of our gaming IEM recommendations. Be sure to check out our full list in the blog in the link below. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so you don't miss our latest videos here at Moon Audio. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.